Ah, uh, it's getting pretty late. I should probably stop watching TV. And oh, why is my mom outside? What is she doing over there? I'm gonna say, Mom, what's up? She said, Oh, hey, Tappy. It's nothing. I like staring at the stars and the moon. Oh, wow. It does look pretty nice. Oh, my gosh. Guys, look at that. It's so beautiful up there. I'm gonna say, Are you able to go there? Can people touch the stars? She said, Not everyone can. Wait, what? Um, who can then? And she said, No, Tap, we can't touch touch the stars but we can touch the moon wait really that sounds awesome i want to touch the moon astronauts are the only people who can oh she said you have to wait till you're older though i'm gonna say that's fine i'll touch the moon one day trust me she said ha one day tap and she said all right let's go to bed oh you're past your bedtime and uh my mom picked me up <laughs> she said there you are you need anything nah i'm good i don't want to go to bed though i want to look at the stars Stars. She said, you got to go to school and learn stuff to grow up and become an astronaut. I guess that's kind of true. She said, good night, Tap. Sweet dreams. Good night, Mom. And oh, it's all dark in here now. Wait, now that she left, I can go outside. Hold on. Let me open the door and... Wow. It looks beautiful. I'm going to touch the moon one day. Ah, good morning, boys. It is a beautiful day today, and it's actually my first day out of school. I finally finished, and I'm finally 18, so I think it's time to start my life mission of touching the moon. And oh, it's, it's gone. Well, I guess it is daytime. <laughs> and now I'm pretty sure the place I should start is over there at the space station. I don't know if anyone's working, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna head downstairs and tell my mom, and uh, is she awake? Oh, yeah, there she is. Hey, mom. Guess what day it is? She said, morning. Morning, Tap. She said, it's your birthday. <laughs> I know. But today, instead of celebrating, I want to start chasing my dream of becoming an astronaut. And she said, oh. <laughs> she was confused for a second. She said, come on, Tap. You still remember? I thought about it every night since you said it. I mean, literally. She said, you know, if you become an astronaut, I won't be able to see you for a long time. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, you'll see me. Just look up during the night. I'll be right there with you. Oh, she put a smiley face. All right, well, I'm out of here. Bye, Mom. See you soon. She said, if that's what you want, Tap, it's okay. Bye, Tap. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm finally chasing my dreams. I'm literally so excited. All right, boys. Well, I'm headed to the city and on my way to the space station. Well, at least the Earth version of it. And wow, they have a rocket they're working on right now, too. That looks insane. I'm not going to lie. I don't really know if I'll even be able to get this job. I might have to go to school for it or something, but they'll probably know when they can put me in the right direction at least and all right we're here oh my gosh i've never seen the rocket up close this thing is huge and oh i don't know if i should just open the door let me just uh ring the doorbell instead this guy said well hello oh who's joseph how can i help you i'm gonna say hi sir i was wondering if i could get a job as an astronaut he said well of course uh you know it's a tough job right kid i'm gonna say well yeah i'm sure it's not super easy but but it can't be that hard, right? He said, all right, well, have you been trained before? I'm going to say, uh, no. <laughs> he said, oh, well, great. Come with me. All right. Well, I guess this guy's pretty friendly. Um, I'm going to say, do you own this? Whose rocket is this? He said, kind of. He said, it's owned by the Brookhaven government. Oh, interesting. I never realized that, to be honest, guys. He said, I'm going to have the best astronaut train you. Oh, awesome. That sounds sick. He said, you came at the perfect time. We're looking for new recruits. Oh, amazing. Um cool he said come meet him he's a nice guy um all right sounds good i guess he went on the moon as well wait really oh my gosh that's awesome he said yup wait where is he are we going in the rocket i'm gonna say uh oh it closed on me <laughs> i'm gonna say i can come in and wait is it automatic i can't even open it. it's locked he said yes he must be around here somewhere whoa i'm inside of a rocket right now oh my goodness i'm gonna say do you know how crazy this is for me i I've never been in a rocket. And he's yelling, Jamal, are you in here? He said, ha, ha, ha. You get used to it. And yo, who the heck is this guy? He said, I remember my first time in the rocket. Oh, uh, oh, this is the guy who went to the moon, I think. Jamal. He said, hey, Jamal, we got a new guy here. A real rookie. Hey, <laughs> uh, my name is Tap. Nice to meet you, Jamal. He said, nice to meet you too. He said, Jamal will train you and show you the ropes. I'm gonna say, okay, sounds good to me. He said, if you guys need anything, Jamal knows where to find me. Good luck, Tap. <sighs> 
Okay, awesome. He said, you're gonna need it. Uh, nice meeting you. I guess he's leaving now. But wow, I'm with someone who's been on the moon before. He just said, so. He said, what made you want to come here? Um, well, it's always been my dream to be an astronaut ever since I was a kid. He said, interesting. It was my dream too. Oh, nice. But this job is harder than it seems. Oh, uh, okay. And dangerous. Wait, what? Dangerous? Uh, how? He said, welp, if your rocket fails in the middle of the sky and you're inside of it, then bye-bye. Wait, wait, what? What do you mean rocket fails? Like falls back to Earth safely? He said, and let's not mention space stuff. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. He said, look, kid, if the rocket fails and you're in it and it explodes, you're dead. We can't guarantee your life. Oh my gosh, bro, I didn't realize it was that bad. He said, so, working here is a risk. He said, now knowing that, are you ready to do this or not? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize you could died trying to be an astronaut. He said, I want you to back out in the middle of training. I'm gonna say, yeah, that, that makes sense. He said, so knowing all of that, are you still gonna work here? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I didn't realize you could die. Like, I didn't know it was that bad. And he said it again. Your life is not guaranteed. Okay. Honestly, bro, no, I'm not doing it. I can't. He said, it's not only the rocket exploding. No, I'm, I'm sorry. He said, that's fine, kid. Bro, I can't do it, bro. I, I don't want to die. Well, what about my mom? What about my future? What about everything? He it's not meant for everyone. Yeah, I guess that is true. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry for wasting your time. I, I'll just get out of your hair. He said, it's fine. He said, good luck in life, kid. Oh my gosh, bro. I didn't realize you could die, guys. No, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I just can't. I, that's too crazy for me. And it's too wild, bro. <sighs> that rocket does look pretty nice, though. Okay, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it, guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me think. He said it's a hard job. He said it's not for everyone. But what am I going to do? Am I just going to go home? Tell my mom I gave up on my dreams? Am I just going to watch this rocket? it every single day of my life watch it take off knowing that i never took the risk okay no 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 i can't just give up like that i can't i literally can't i don't care if it means i have to die i'm willing to take that risk i actually am i'm gonna follow my dreams i can't just live life knowing that i never even tried okay i'm back i'm coming back i'm gonna say jamal he said hmm? i'm in i don't care if it means i have to die i'm chasing my dreams no matter what it takes and he said that's the spirit from this point forward i am not backing out he said good job kid let's get started he said first things first you need a tour oh of the rocket i guess so let's start with this room he said here's where we put our supplies and make sure there's enough oxygen in the tanks oh yeah i forgot you can't even breathe in the moon guys you literally need to wear a space suit and oxygen or else you die gosh this job is risky so let's go down all right i guess we're gonna go down now and hey yo what is this down here this is afterburner he said this is the engine of the rocket he said all the mechanics are here and all the wiring he said avoid this room something gets ruined okay it makes sense and uh also so what's this afterburner button? I can press it. He said, do not press it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, my, my bad, my bad, I won't. All right, back up, I guess we go. He said, so, next room. Gotta go up a ladder. And oh, this is like a little dining table area. Oh, the fridge. This is the kitchen. Wow, this is nice. Nicer than my house. <laughs> okay, I mean, maybe not, but it's pretty nice overall, though. Very cool. All right, and what's up here? Whoa, what the heck? This is the cryo sleep room. Yeah, what does that even mean? Huh? He said, basically, to skip some time and space. Wait, what? I'm gonna say this works? I'm kind of confused. You can skip time? Um, he said, you get inside of one of these and your body gets frozen for a certain amount of time. Whoa, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> uh, okay, interesting, I guess. He said, mostly till you reach your destination. Next room. All right, upstairs again, I guess we go. And whoa, this is where the guy is, Joseph. He said, this is the control room where we launch the rockets. Hello, boys. <laughs> Make sure everything is good. Okay, okay. A lot of buttons in here. He said, how's the training? I'm gonna say, great. I'm gonna also say, this is a lot of buttons. Like, how do you even know what this does? Countdown, ignition, lights, pad lights, cut engines. And he said, yup. <laughs> he said, if you think this is bad, you should see a plane. <laughs> huh? He said, so all of the basics for this. So is this where Joseph sits? He stays is here. Oh, okay. He works here mostly, I guess. Okay, interesting. He said, I stay up here and work, making sure oxygen, fuel, and damage is good. Stuff like that. Oh, okay. And oh, oxygen's getting a little low, actually. It's not 100% anymore. Interesting. And Jamal just said, oh yeah, I forgot a room. Wait, really? We're back on the cryo sleep. Oh, over here. Whoa, what is this? I think it's a bathroom. He said the bathroom. Okay, that makes sense. Shower, toilet in there. Hey, yo, sorry. Pretty nice bathroom, honestly. He said, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, cool. He said, now time to make you a space suit. Wait, really? Oh my gosh. I'm definitely showing my mom that. He said, let's go outside. Um, okay. Wait, where are we going? He said, follow me. Um, okay. And yo, what the heck is 
is this? I didn't see this before. Am I blind? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if we're allowed here. It looks a little suspicious. He said, we are. I'm going to say, how did I not see this before? He said, this is our base. Oh, um, he said, we use hiding technology. Whoa, what the heck? That's cool. I'm going to say, hmm, all right. He said, so. Whoa, it's like a bunker in here. You got bunk beds. And who the heck is that guy? Alexander. He said, hey, yo, he looks suspicious. I mean, not really. He just looks like a serious person. He said, we need to make a custom suit for him. Space suit. Oh my gosh, let's go. He said, ah, I'm going to say, nice to meet you, sir. I'm Tap. And he said, hi. He said, let me get your measurements. He said, stand here. Um, okay i guess against the wall i'm not really sure what to do he said hmm he said i can make one for him yeah okay uh good he said perfect he said it'll be ready tonight shouldn't take any longer than that um sounds good to me uh nice to meet you again alexander he said nice to meet you too um all right cool he said now i'll go work <laughs> oh who the heck is that guy that settles he said now it's time for a test run whoa 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 we're actually gonna go in a rocket what does he mean test run he said no no no, we are emulating a launch. Oh, okay. That's cool. Gosh, it's getting late out here too, boys. I'm not gonna lie. He says, to see how you react and handle it. Um, all right. That sounds good, I guess. All right, we're up here. Yo, it's crazy up here. I feel so high up. Oh my goodness. He said, oh, hey, Joseph, let's test run the rookie. He said, all right, let's do it. Yo, uh, test run. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. He said, go inside. He said, okay, did Jamal explain how it works? Uh, not at all. <laughs> he said, all right, well, to be honest, we don't really do much. We sit in the chair with the space suit on and I control most of it for you. Oh, okay. Sounds pretty simple then. Um, I don't know where Jamal is, but I guess we don't need him for this part. He said, so get ready and let me get some stuff done. I'm gonna say, uh, what chair do I sit in? He said, well, the main one, of course. Oh, whoa. Okay. I'm gonna say, uh, isn't Jamal supposed to come with me? He said, well, we can only have one astronaut on the moon. Wait, wait, what? He said, if we had multiple, do you know how expensive that would be? I'm gonna say, so you're saying if I go to the moon, I'm going by myself? He said, well, you'll have us here to guide you, but you will be alone on the moon. Yes. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrifying. I'm going to say, oh, all right. I didn't realize all of that, but let's get started with this test, I suppose. He said, yep. Let me make sure Jamal's ready. Wow, guys, this is getting really serious. I'm not going to lie. I'm not even too sure when I'm going to go, but I guess it'll be soon. All right, they're back in here. I guess they're sitting down. I'm going to say, uh, so now what? He said, all right. Oh my gosh, I can hear it. Oh my gosh. He said, now we leave. Be ready. Oh my gosh, bro, what? Are we actually going? And yo, look, it says countdown 24. Uh, guys, I'm kind of scared. He said 16. It says 15, 14, 13. Oh my god, I'm actually doing it. And yo, what the heck? It's going up. Oh my gosh. Wait, what is this on the screen? Oh, it's an emulator. It's supposed to look like you're in space. This isn't space, but wow, that does look nice. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's a black hole, I think. That looks insane. He said, we. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. Well, he said, all right. Uh, well, that's it. He said, you kind of overreacted there, buddy. Oh, uh, sorry. He said, yeah, dot, dot. <laughs> he said, you can't be doing that alone while going to the moon. He said, just try and stay calm. I'm going to say, yeah, I, I will. Sorry about that. It, it was just my first time, you know? He said, it's all right. We understand. All right, cool, cool. He said, all right, well, test went good. He said, and you're here in a lucky time because our real launch is next week. Think you can make it? I'm going to say, of course. Um, I'll drop anything for this opportunity. He said, you're going to be the main man. Oh my gosh. He said, we only launch one time a year. So you're real lucky with your timing. Yeah, yeah, okay. I see what he says now. That's a good point. All right, well, uh, I guess I'm going to start heading home. Nice meeting you guys. And Jamal just said, not so fast. Yo, what the heck? Um, what's up? He said, you need to be trained every day as an astronaut. You can't go home yet. They were sleeping in that military base for now. Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess I won't see my mom till I touch the moon then. But all right, that's fine. He said, come on, I'll show you around that base. All right. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is a lot. There's a lot of information and just a whole lot going on. And like I said, I didn't realize it'd be like this, to be honest. I'm chasing my dreams. I got to do what it takes. All right, we're back here. This place isn't that bad. He said, so as you see, I got a training facility over here. And look at all those guns. Oh my gosh. Got some 
wait to stay fit. Is the living room or sleeping area on this floor? He said, basically, stay here. All right, uh, that, that's fine. I got all I need here. There's even a fridge and a microwave, so. He said, no downstairs or upstairs. And we're gonna say, all right. Oh, and Alexander's here. He said, hello. Hey, sir. He said, your suit is ready. <gasps> Let's go. And yo, look, my suit's in here. He said, here, now I'll go watch TV. <laughs> um, all righty. Uh, I'm gonna go put this on. He said, all right, you can try it on for fun. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to Joseph. I'm gonna say, uh, sounds good. He said, see ya. All right, well, I have my space suit. I can finally try on. Let me go ahead and uh, go in the bathroom, I guess, and I'll just change over here. There's no door in this bathroom, which is a little weird, but whatever. And wow, look at me. I'm literally an astronaut. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. I look so sick. I'm not taking this off for a week, bro. I'm gonna sleep with this on. <laughs> okay, maybe not sleep with it, but I'll just take the helmet part off. There we go. Looking pretty sick still, if you ask me. All right, well, I guess I'll go ahead and climb into one of these beds. I'm not really too sure which one. Maybe this one, actually. And uh, it's time to hit the hay. I have a week of training left, but after that week, I'm finally achieving my dreams of landing on the moon. Ah, good morning, boys. It's the day. It's the day. It's the day. I am very excited. And Alexander's here. Good morning, sir. He said, good morning. Launch day. I'm going to say, yes, sir, it is. He said, get ready. Um, I have everything I need, to be honest with you. I'm going to start heading into the space station and uh, get ready. And oh, look, Jamal's right there, too. He said, hey. I'm going to say, hey, Jamal. It's a big day today. He said, I was just about to get you. I'm going to say, no need. I'm on top of my stuff. Let's get started. He said, ah, that's what I like to hear. Let's get up there. All right, boys. Boys. Oh my goodness, this is so crazy. I'm so nervous. I don't know how to feel about this. He said, looking good, guys. Get inside. All right, we're in here. Ship's all ready. Time to gear up, I suppose. He said, some final tweaks to make really quick. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, bro. He said, all right. Oh, it's my last day on Earth. I mean, I'll be back, but I'm gonna say, Jamal, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm kind of nervous. He said, it's all right, man. I was nervous too. You're gonna be just fine. Don't worry. It won't explode on you, haha. -ha. Well, probably won't. I'm gonna say, you know, if I die, just tell my mom I love her. That's all I ask. He said, all right, man. Oh my gosh. He said, you'll be back in no time. It's a one day mission. I'm gonna say, yeah, you're right, you're right. And oh, Joseph's here again. He said, all right. He said, plenty of food and everything. Let's get moving. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna mask up. There we are. So we're losing lights. All right, yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. I'm gonna go ahead and get in the chair. And oh my gosh, I can't believe we're actually doing this. And Joseph said, all right, everyone, seats now. Yep. All right, let's get ready. Oh, and the lights are off. Oh my gosh. Gosh, this is getting real, boys. He said, okay, looks good. Get ready, everyone. He said, get ready, everyone. This is the big one. All right, 10 seconds left till countdown. Nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two. We're going. Oh my gosh, I can feel the shaking. Hold on. Oh my gosh, we're actually going. Look at this. It's insane. The world's disappearing. Oh my gosh. We're in the sky right now. Oh, and I'm pretty sure this part's gonna break off soon. Any second now. And wow, the rocket looks crazy. It looks different than I thought. But wow, look at this. You could just see the sun and we're out of this earth. Like we can literally see like the, the, the horizon line or I don't even know what you call that. The, the edge of the earth. It's always not the edge, but wow. And there we go. You can't see anything. Over there's the sun and we should be there in no time. We're out of here, boys. And wow, it looks so beautiful. And oh my gosh, I've made it to the moon. Look at this. Oh my goodness. And wow, the sun's right there. I, I actually did it. I did what I never thought would have been possible. Part of the rocket's there. And wow, you can even see this earth. It looks kind of small. I mean, big and small at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. Wow, it looks beautiful out here, guys. I, I, I almost can't believe this is real. Ever since I was a kid, it was my dream to step on the moon and I finally did it. I stepped on the moon. I'm here and oh my gosh, the gravity. Wow. I should have braced myself for that. I didn't even expect that really. This has just been the most insane experience of my entire life. I could almost cry right now, guys. No, obviously I can't be here for too long. I only have so much oxygen and so many things I need to do. I gotta grab the moon rocks they requested and get out of here. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.